And we begin at 11 with more information on the man in police custody who officials believe could be connected to the Greg Kelly case. Jonathan McCarty was arrested yesterday when he showed up for a meeting with his probation officer. We do not know why exactly he was detained, but officials tell us it is related, rather unrelated, to Kelly's case. He does remain, though, in jail this morning. McCarty was Greg Kelly's former friend. 22-year-old Greg Kelly has served nearly three years of a 25-year probation, rather prison sentence near Huntsville. A Williamson County jury convicted him back in 2014 after a four-year-old boy accused Kelly of molesting him. And court documents unsealed yesterday afternoon say McCarty told someone at a party after Kelly's conviction that he in fact was the one who molested the child, not Kelly. Those unsealed court documents also say cell phone technology shows Greg Kelly was not living in the house with Jonathan McCarty, whose mother operated an in-home daycare center at the time of the crime. It also says that McCarty had images of naked young children on his computer and phone. He was not, has not been arrested or charged in the sexual assault case. Well, on the day, Williamson County authorities announced that they were reopening the Greg Kelly child sex assault case. Kelly's loved ones let out a huge sigh of relief, as you can imagine. Greg Kelly's girlfriend has stayed by his side and says she has new hope. She tells KVU the past few years have been a long, long journey, but says the two have been together since the eighth grade and she plans to stay by his side. They see each other every other month and write letters to keep in contact. She says Kelly has stayed positive the entire time. The process has been really long and um, I don't know, Greg's been really strong through it and encouraging and he's really keeping his time busy with um, learning and training fitness and Kelly's girlfriend goes on to say that she'll return to Texas next week to visit Kelly in Huntsville. A Williamson County judge set a hearing for Kelly the first week of August. At that time, she will decide whether Kelly could be released from prison on bond.